Done. The only thing he does every day is cut up duck. But instead of selling it or eating it, he sends it to a strange warehouse. He has to perform a ritual before he enters the warehouse, jumping three times in place. John did this for 50 years. So far, no one knows what's inside. One day John was chopping ducks as usual. He accidentally dropped his head on the ground. As he was about to bend down to pick it up, he was about to bend down to pick it up when the accident happened and it fell to the ground with blood in his head. He died instantly, not long after John's death. Not long after John's death, the warehouse owner couldn't wait to take over. The owner put the warehouse up for blind auction. Whoever succeeds in bidding, all the contents of the warehouse will belong to the bidder. $50, $100, $200, and the bidding gets tougher and tougher. Mark, with a bid of $400, Mark wins warehouse 36 with a $400 bid. The owner told him mysteriously that the previous owner of this warehouse was a very strange person. He took Mark to the surveillance room. said it was a mysterious warehouse. Since the strange death of the previous owner, no one knows what's inside. Not long ago, the lease on the warehouse expired. No one was going to renew the lease, so the owner put the warehouse up for auction. And a man, Mark, paid a lot of money for the warehouse. And then the owner showed him a video. In the video, the owner was holding a bag of duck meat. But then he jumps in front of the warehouse door three times. Then he goes straight into the warehouse. He goes in and doesn't come out until half a day later. When he came out, the duck meat in his hand was nowhere to be found. And when he came out, it's the same as before. He jumped three times before leaving. The owner's behavior aroused Mark's interest. He paid on the spot and signed the contract. After getting the key, he couldn't wait to open the blind box. But as soon as he reached the door of the warehouse, he was stopped by a woman. It turned out that Mark had bought his warehouse as well. And he only wanted the photos in the warehouse back but Mark refused. At that moment, he just wanted to get into warehouse 36 as soon as possible. He threw a broken lock and left. The woman was so angry, she cursed. Mark didn't stay long. He went straight to warehouse 36. When he opened the roller door, it wasn't what he expected. It was full of worthless junk. There was even some rubbish. Mark had a panic attack. Is this all they got for $400? He'd been searching for half a day, and all he'd found was a broken candlestick. All they found was a broken candlestick. Other than that, he found two chairs, and a table with five stars on it. So Mark immediately took these items to a nearby antique shop to sell them for a few bucks. But when he looked at the candlesticks, the lady in charge wasn't interested. Instead, she studied the pentagram to pattern table. He stroked the lines on it, and inadvertently triggered a trap. Inside were three ancient books. When Mark read out the names of the books, the boss's wife became upset. Immediately called a more professional priest. The priest was very interested in the books as soon as he saw them. The downside is that there were originally four books in the set. Now there are only three. The pastor said that as long as Mark could collect his policies, he would buy them all for a million dollars. This sudden good fortune completely overwhelmed the master's mind. Without saying a word, he took the priest to the warehouse. For one million dollars, Mark took the priest to warehouse 36 overnight. They searched all night. They didn't find anything new. Until that day, Mark accidentally knocked a picture off the wall. And they realized the wall was hollow. The two of them got excited and moved the furniture next to it. As expected, there was a secret room hidden behind the wall. But the priest didn't rush in. He took out a candlestick, lit it, and kept an eye on Mark. If you go in and find any new species, don't touch Mark. He wouldn't listen. All he wanted was to find the book. A million dollars. As the two men went deeper, as the two of them went deeper and deeper into the house, the smell got stronger and stronger. They saw newspapers of missing women all over the walls. At this point, they finally came to the end of the chamber. They found a woman's body lying on the spell and rotting. The most important thing is that in addition to the woman's body, in addition to the body, there was the fourth book they had been looking for. Mark was so excited. Mark was so excited, he just marched right in and tried to get it. He didn't realize that he had already destroyed the spell. The next moment, the monster in the spell woke up. Mark realized what had happened. He realized he was in big trouble. Immediately hid behind the tombstone, the sealed woman shook her head full of tentacles. When the priest was not paying attention, dragged directly into it. At the same time, the ancient book instantly burst into flames. He was shocked by the scene in front of him. Mark didn't care about the one million. He turned around and ran away. But no matter where he went, the smell of the woman's body always caught up with him. Finally, Mark made it to the exit of the warehouse. 
but the door won't open, and the danger was getting closer. At that moment, a figure suddenly appeared. It was no one else. It was the old woman Mark had rejected during the day, who pleaded with him to open the door. When it comes out, he'll return all the photos. But the woman, Cheese, remained silent. She took out the same broken lock, and locked Mark's only way out. Then she turned around and left, leaving Mark with the same kind of desperate back.